This case, like a few others before, it really seemed to polarise the public and there did become these cheer squads on both sides. I think it's a polarising issue when a woman brings up something that happens in private against someone who has an amazing public image and is loved and is cherished and is respected. I think that you want to believe that she's making it up and he's wrongly accused. I think it's almost bullying. It's like we all want to be in the popular crowd. We want to be the kid that everyone loves and with the popular kid. And Johnny Depp was the popular kid in, in this fight. He was the popular kid and Amber Heard was the one that was being bullied. A Hollywood heartthrob for nearly 40 years, Johnny Depp has always had an unwaveringly loyal fan base. And with their man now under fire in court, his fans came out in force. Dare I ask what, what you think of Amber Heard? I think she is an evil person, a despicable person. Uh, I don't feel she or anyone has the right to make up the kind of lies that she's making up about him. She utterly wants to destroy him and she'll never be able to because he's very strong. Do you think Johnny is capable of a lot of the things that he's being accused of? No, I don't believe it. I don't. Uh, he's a human being, so I'm not gonna say that he's a saint because we all have our moments. There are many words you could use to describe Yvonne de Boer. Perhaps devoted is the most fitting. So how, how big do you think this, this legion of support is for Johnny Depp? Millions. Millions. There's millions of them that have been following his career, following the trial, and they just want to support him. We all just want to support him. So Johnny here, he's still wearing the ring and bracelet that I gave him. Yvonne was one of the many Johnny loyalists who lined up for hours each day in the hope of securing a coveted seat in the courtroom. And what a performance they got, not only from Johnny and Amber, but from a stunning cast of supporting actors as well. Uh, would you please state your full name for the record? Kate Moss. One surprise was supermodel Kate Moss, who dated Johnny in the 90s and took less than three minutes to show her support for him on the stand. Did Mr. Depp push you in any way down the stairs? No. No, he never pushed me, kicked me, or threw me down any stairs. But another former girlfriend, actress Ellen Barkin, spoke about her relationship with the actor in less than glowing terms. He's just a jealous man controlling where are you going, who are you going with, well, what did you do last night? I had a scratch on my back once that got him very, very angry because he insisted it came from me having sex with a person who wasn't. There were even witnesses who, strangely, didn't want to be a part of the circus, like the hapless doorman from Johnny and Amber's apartment. I am just so stressed out because of this. I just don't want to deal with this anymore. I'm tired. I don't want to deal with this court case, uh, everybody got problems, and I don't want to deal with this no more. But for a perv into the lifestyles of the rich and famous, the most extraordinary evidence came from the financial experts trying to make sense of Johnny's spending habits. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was, he was profligacy personified. I mean, it, it's almost the Hollywood cliche of the out of control star who doesn't know the value of anything and just spends crazily. He kept up his ridiculous spending levels. He's got a private island in the Bahamas. He was taking private jets everywhere. He's got a huge team of staff around him. He's got two personal assistants. Well, we heard evidence from four different security guards. And so the lifestyle that he lived and the lifestyle that Amber Heard became part of was jaw-dropping and eye-popping for ordinary spectators going, they spent how much? They had what? They did that next? Wow. It was, it was a real eye-opener into um, a, a, a very, very extravagant Hollywood lifestyle. The audience may not have wanted it, but at some point, the spectacle was going to end. All right, Mr. Foreperson, is this the verdict of the jury? Yes. 
All right, is it unanimous? Yes. Thank you, sir. And after six weeks, more than 40 witnesses and 16 hours of testimony from the couple themselves, the jury took over. Three days later, they had a verdict. Amber Heard was guilty. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Could you believe it? It was an extraordinary moment. So the jury really couldn't have been clearer here. They don't believe that Johnny Depp ever physically assaulted Amber Heard, and they think that she's a liar. I, th I think that's the only conclusion that you can draw from the way that the jury found all three elements of the defamation action wholly in favour of Johnny Depp, and then awarded him $15 million in damages. Johnny wasn't in court for the verdict. Coincidentally, he was back in the UK, where, despite his big win in the US, he was still considered a wife beater. Johnny, 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 I love you, bro. I love you, bro. I love you, bro. I love you. Through a statement, Amber told the world she was heartbroken and she wasn't alone. The trial and the verdict was global humiliation of women who break silence. We were disparaged, disbelieved, uh, distrusted, and it didn't feel good. It, I felt uh, disappointed by it. Do you think this case in some ways gives hope to powerful men who have been accused of, of terrible crimes that they can get on the front foot, they can go on the attack and it will make their issues go away? I traveled here to the UK to testify as a witness to assist the court. When Amber Heard told a London court in 2020 that she was the victim of domestic violence, the Me Too movement rallied around her. You have given me so much strength, and I send it back to you. But now that a US court has rejected her story, confusion reigns. How much did this set back the gains that have been made by the Me Too movement? I do feel a woman is going to think twice before she comes forward and breaks her silence and says she was victimized, either by domestic violence or sexual violence. I think it has a chilling effect. I think that it would make any woman who wants to go after a powerful, wealthy, successful, celebrity male is really going to have to look at whether he, in fact, is going to turn around and bang her into the ground with a defamation lawsuit. What message does this verdict send to perhaps a young woman who is thinking about speaking up about a powerful man? I think it says, unless you've got a videotape and an audio tape that's admissible of him beating you and sexually violating you with a bottle or however, you better be a perfect victim. You better have no skeletons in your closet. And I think it sends a sad message that you should stay quiet. I had clients calling me saying that they were double thinking whether they wanted to come out with their story if it was a famous perpetrator or an institution or a school or an athletics or a church. This made them take a step back. Do you think this case in some ways gives hope to powerful men who have been accused of terrible crimes that they can get on the front foot, they can go on the attack and it will make their issues go away? This is going to be the playbook moving forward by powerful men. This is going to be, they're going to use the Depp Heard case as a template of how to beat these charges, how to start getting early with the jury pool with social media, how to control the narrative how to control the judge, basically, the jury, the attorneys, how to set up such a narrative that it's like a wave. You can't really overcome it. In their determination to destroy each other, Johnny and Amber were willing to surrender their privacy. And the damage that caused was substantial for both of them. Now they've got to take their reputations to the PR panel beaters. Who has the longer road to redemption from here? Uh, I think the longer road to redemption is definitely Amber Heard. Amber Heard hasn't been found guilty of anything. 
Nothing. But it feels like she does have a, an uphill battle in terms of restoring her reputation. Ab absolutely. I, I think it's so much harder, you know, it's so much harder for a woman in Hollywood. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's been that way, you know, since the golden age of Hollywood. It's much harder to get back on the horse and move forward. And she just wants to go out there and, and make her voice heard. I mean, she, she honestly believes that her career at this point is probably over. But, you know, I don't believe that. I think for Amber, the best thing for her, if I was her publicist, I would, I would just say, just walk away for a while. Just walk away. You're a new mom. Go be a parent. Go hang out with your kids. Hug them, love them, you know, and just step away for a while. You know, in a couple months, reevaluate your, what you want to do. That being said, it's, it's, she, has a, she has a mountain to climb. You know, to shake off any of this, any of this kind of, you know, damage that's been done to a reputation. Incredibly, despite everything that was revealed, it seems Johnny's public rehabilitation will be much easier. So if you're on Johnny Depp's team, how, how do you go about rebuilding his brand now? I don't think he's going to have an issue working in the foreseeable future. It's a shilling to tie up your boat, Doc. And I shall need to know your name. What do you say to three shillings? And we forget the name. You know, as much as we love watching a train wreck, we also like seeing people succeed. Welcome to Port Royal, Mr. Smith. I think Johnny, because he has such a legion of fans behind him, uh, they are going to be curious to see what he's up to. You know, when it comes to franchises, when it comes to a, an ensemble kind of cast, they're going to want to see his next move. They're going to want to see him succeed. If Hollywood wants proof of Johnny's star power, they should take a look at his new TikTok account. A slick video message of gratitude to his supporters has already been viewed more than 22 million times. We love a, a, a story of redemption. We love a story of, of someone overcoming an obstacle, whatever the case is. Johnny versus Amber sadly has had it all. Tears, tantrums, and a toxic love affair. But at the end of the day, it's always a tragedy when love turns to hate. When he was asked how he could sum up all of this, he described all of Amber Heard's allegations, the two trials that took place in the UK and the USA, as stemming from one little lie. And the inference was that one little lie was told in order for her to secure that temporary restraining order. And she just embellished and embellished and embellished since then, entrenching herself and, and catching herself in that one little lie until it span out of control into all these multiple allegations of abuse. This is a massive victory for Johnny Depp, and this will have huge implications for months or years to come. Hello, I'm Tom Steinford. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments.